He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his guns. Uh... Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Well, yeah, my name is Major Slack, and thanks for joining me again. And let's walk through some more prey. This is part one. Um, if you want to see the introduction, watch the intro video, right? And that will be the first video in this playlist. Um, this is where the game really starts. And we're here in our apartment, and we have no objectives. So let's just start looking around. Pick up everything. When you play this game, pick up everything. Everything you can find, pick it up. So I'm going to pick up all the useful items. I'll try to look at all the, uh, the reading material quickly like that so you can just pause the video and read these if you so desire and when you do that that gets loaded into your inventory in data okay so all the stuff you picked up if you want to go over if you're playing the game just hit it up quickly and then you can read it later okay so everything you hit up there's some stuff everything has some use this is just like dying light if you don't loot you will die loot everywhere hang on a second Ah, uh, there we go. Slack, you didn't wash your hands. All right, all right, we'll wash my hands here. There we go. Okay, now. Over on the work table here. Grab that, that, something over here. Frayed wire. Um, this is just something we can throw away for gits and shakles. Uh, check the computer. Password. Oh, we have six emails. And they all say, danger, leave now. Huh, okay, I wonder what we should do. Huh. And there's always something over in the night table here. Got those items. Never really found anything in the closet here. And I believe that is it. Uh, some of you may be wondering, what's going to happen to my Shadow Warrior 2 walkthrough? Nothing. Nothing. It's going to go on as um, as planned. Prey and Shadow Warrior 2 are going to share walkthrough space here on Major Slack videos, okay? Equal opportunity. Um, I may do half the week Shadow Warrior 2, half the week Prey, or I may alternate um, every other day or something like that. I don't know. Post a comment. How would you like to see it? Every other day for Prey and Shadow Warrior 2 walkthroughs, or uh, half the week for one and half the week for the other? Not that, um, you know... I mean, I'm just, uh, I'm polling for it as a matter of, uh, you know, to get some user feedback here. Because ultimately, I am the boss, and you are the lowly, um, video viewer servant. What's that? Hang on a second. Oh, okay, um, apparently, that is not so what I just said. Apparently you are the boss and I am the lowly video maker servant. Gee, I never knew that. Actually, it kind of makes sense the way things have been going for the past eight years here on YouTube. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh my gosh, Patricia bought the big one. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's just take her stuff here. And she's got a wrench, so we now have a weapon. And somebody's contacting us. It's time we spoke. January. You're not dreaming. Okay. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment. Get out of the apartment. You're not safe. Okay, here is our first mission. Break up. Escape from your apartment. Alright, can do. And we now have a wrench. Okay. Does, you know, considerable amount of damage. If you want to do a power attack, hold down the attack button. Mm -hmm. Does a power attack, all right? But that costs more stamina. Okay, and when you swing your wrench, it uses up stamina, eh? and that becomes more apparent apparent when you're actually in combat. We also have a flashlight. This is not the flashlight. That's just like an object, you know. Your flashlight. Just press your flashlight button, and your flashlight also runs on batteries, eh? So the battery will gradually deplete if you use up your flashlight all the time. All right, that's that. So our objective is to break out of our apartment. First of all, I just want to take one final view here. One final look out our lovely view. Alright, that's enough. Let's break out. <laughs> but you didn't see that coming, eh? I can't believe it. It was all a mirage. This certainly doesn't look like Kansas Toto. And we're out.
Okay, once again, looting around for everything. Got another incoming call from January. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Okay, we're in the simulation lab. Let's look around for some goodies. Stuff, stuff. And... Off goes the music. It is off. Okay, this is... What is that? Ominous. Okay, I didn't sign up for this. Could be a hell of a ride, so let's take along a little liquid courage here. Stuff to pick up there. There's some more liquid courage. Let's grab that. There you go. Yay! Yeah, what was that? Hey! Oh my gosh! Creepy crawly. Unidentified creepy crawly thingy. He's over there. There he is. Get up. Get up. Yeah. Ah. That is the first time I've killed a creepy crawly in this area. I've never done that before. Usually he runs away. Okay, so we're back at the beginning here. We did the tour. Um, before we go on, let's go into the uh, Sim Lab office. In the Sim Lab office is a safe code that has been rubbed out. Um, there's something on the computer here. Take this for the password. Go on the computer. And you can read these emails. Here we go. For those of you who like Story Smurry. That is it for here, except for the safe. How do you get the safe code, Slack? I'm going to show you how later on, all right? You can't get the safe code legitimately. The safe code is 5150. There we go. And get yourself some goodies. We now have a scope chip set, but we don't have the scope yet, so we'll just have to leave that alone. Forget about that. Don't worry about it. Table that for a later date. That is that. And I believe we're done here. Let's get the F out of Dodge. Okay. Can't fly the chopper. So we're going to have to find another way out of Dodge. Hope we can hit up this red toolbox here for some goodies. Elevator's not functioning. There's more reading material here. Don't forget this med kit here. And I believe that's it. <laughs> okay. Game on. There's the creepy crawling in that room there. What is that thing, January? Oh. Everyone calls them mimics. Mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Yeah. These things can camouflage themselves as pretty much anything. A chair, coffee cup. Whatever. Did he break the glass? Okay. Break the glass. Okay, now usually the best way is just to kind of ambush this guy. Just run in. Missed. Got it. These things do a lot of damage, eh? For little creepy crawlies, they do a lot of damage. And when there's a lot of them, <laughs> Just like do the math. Yeah. Um, that's okay. Did we get any food? There's some food. Okay, now when you eat food, right? Um, you get what's known as the well fed bonus. And the well fed bonus kicks in this health regeneration thing. You see, my health is going up. Blue bar at the, in the bottom left corner of the screen, the blue bar is your health. And the the gray bar below it is your, like, um, your shield. I forget what it's called in this game. Your suit. That's basically your shield, right? So I ate five health, and hey, let's do that again. Okay, I'm at 89. We're going to eat something that's going to give me five points of health. All right, so that bumped me up to 94, but I've got the well-fed bonus, so I'm regenerating my health for a short period of time. And the more food you eat, the more you regenerate your health. So don't eat... To completely fill your health parts. What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. 
Yeah, don't eat food to completely fill your health bar because you'll just be wasting it. Always like stop short of filling up your health bar. Considerably short because you'll get the well fed bonus and uh, the food will continue to fill up your health bar. Okay, that's the way to continue. Doing live commentary here, so I'm forgetting where everything is. Completely distracted. Okay, there's stuff down there, but there's also a couple creepy crawlies down here, too. Yay! Let's see if we can ambush this guy. again. Yum yum. Okay now there's a coffee cup behind there that's a mimic. Right under there. Got him. <laughs> Alright. Goodies here. Seems it's random what you get in here because sometimes they get three items. Okay, good enough. Get some shiggles. We're done. Onward. Okay, once again, I got the well fed bonus. You see, my health bar is slowly regenerating. Right down his throat. Jeez. Hey, January, what's going on here? No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. That's nice. Just a little further. Okay. Gimme, gimme. Don't forget to check this locker over here for, for a med kit and another med kit there. Actually, I believe the locker is random. There's always a med kit here, but this what's in the locker is random. Okay, creepy crawly central in that area there. Um, we can pick up a side mission if you hit this uh, this computer here. Go to email and go to this one here, marked urgent. Stop and read that up if you so desire, and then we have a new side mission. The corpse vanishes. Right? Table that for a later date. Our mission, should we decide to accept, is to go into Sylvain Bellamy's office, which I believe is right there. No, it's somebody else's office. I forgot the name. By the way, whenever you see a plant, harvest it. I'll explain why later. Pick up everything. Everything that you can reasonably pick up, pick up. Okay, I'm gonna hide underneath the... <laughs> okay, all together now. Oh, this is actually the best place to go. You load up a power attack here. Okay, this is what we want right here. This simulation lab key card that opens the door over there. There's definitely some creepy crawlies around here. Usually they come in when you pick up the key card. <laughs> creepy crawly, creepy crawly, creepy creepy crawly crawly. Stack <laughs> cheese. Okay. Got him. <laughs> Come on, bring it. Think it's so big and bad, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, that's the pl best place. Hide underneath the desk. Doesn't look very manly, but it works. <laughs> no, these things, these mimics, I tell you, they could take a big chunk of your health in no time. In no time at all. Just one. And learn to hit everything, eh? <laughs> Let's take my word for it. Okay, can't do anything there. Okay, so we got the key to get out. Oh my gosh. And also, they have problems going around corners. Most of them. <laughs> that one had no problems. No, I noticed that. They have problems attacking around the corner. But that one dodged. Okay, so things are going to get a little better now. Um, do I have any food? I'm going to stockpile all my uh, med kits here. No food. We're going to have to go with what he got. Okay. Okay, so we got a frozen mimic here. Just go up, whack it. That was a phantom. Type an anthropentasmus. Keep moving. Okay, he was talking about this thing in here. I missed it. Sorry about that. Anyways, we're gonna see lots of those later on. Here we go. Here's an apple. And we get the glue cannon here. Extremely valuable weapon. Probably one of the best weapons in the early game. Rely on it heavily. And make sure you get all the uh, the glue cannon ammo. Glue cannon! Fire it. Shoots out this big blob of glue. Fire enough of this stuff at any enemy and it temporarily incapacitates them. Then go up. Whack him with the wrench. Alright? That's the plan. Now, avoid, if you can, using this like uh, a machine gun, okay? Because you're going to waste a lot of ammo, okay? So don't like like that, okay? You're better off, much better off, taking quick pot shots at the enemy. Okay? Especially the mimics. Do that for the phantoms, but for the mimics, take a quick pot shot and see if you can nail it. I just want to go up here and get the, uh, get January to talk, 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 January, talk, 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 talk. Fuck, there we go. Okay. Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this to go. We have a new side objective. Pick up the neuromod. The Neuromod is over there. There's about half a dozen creepy crawlies all around here. Some of them may be camouflaged. Some of them we may be actually see. There's one right there. Okay, I'm just trying to get his attention here. Get him to come over, walk this way. Did I actually get him? Here we go. See, like that. That's the best way to use the glue cannon. Just take quick, single pot shots. You save a lot of ammo like that. If you start spraying and praying all the time, you're gonna waste a lot of glue. Okay, now what I usually like to do is go around the side here, stick to the perimeter. What we want is over there. Sometimes there's a... 
A mimic up here, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, here's what we want. Smashy smashy, grab the mirror mod. Alright. Hit up the inventory. We have the new This is gonna fill out. I'm gonna show you all the menus when we have access to most everything, okay? But right now we're missing a few things. We're missing the map and a couple of other things. Um this is your upgrade screen. Upgrades in this game are called neuro mods. And you have three sections here, scientists engineer and security and um, there's just too many to go through all all these now right now um, basically the basics are this is how much it costs for the upgrade and the tree for each one starts here on the left side so you need that one in order to get that one you need that one in order to get that one for this you can get this one to get any of these four and then follow the tree up just like any kind of upgrade tree that you normally see all right what I want to start with is this guy here leverage pick up Heavy Objects Level 1. So let's get one of those, please. Thank you very much. That'll be useful if you run into barricades or doors with no power. There you go, what he said. Let's get you to the main lobby. Okay, now this will allow us to get a med kit in the men's bathroom there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get it. Could be a mimic down here. There it is. <laughs> okay. It's okay. I can do this. This is fun. Yeah, definitely take... Use the glue gun in a semi-automatic fashion. Except when you're up against, like, bigger enemies. Then spray. There's typically a mimic around the corner. It could be disguised, disguised as an ashtray. that thing there maybe yeah okay nope just an asteroid <laughs> down here though that thing right there that red thing on the floor that's always a mimic um, let's see if we can sneak up and surprise attack it <laughs> who's your daddy who is your daddy mimic slack daddy that's right and that's that. There's just a a beer or something to pick up in here. Cold Mountain Green Tea in the woman's washroom. There's nothing else. In the man's bathroom, now that we can pick up this crate, normally you wouldn't be able to do that if you didn't have that uh, mod. See, that would be too heavy. It's like leverage one, right? But we can pick it up. Let's go down here. Typically, it's safe in the men's bathroom. And we get ourselves a med kit. Don't automatically pick up all med kits because some of them... Could be mimics, okay? This game is full of sucker plays. Totally full of sucker plays. And the, the most diabolical sucker plays, too, you know? The game will lay out like a, you know, a silenced pistol. Here you go, here's a silenced pistol, and boom! All of a sudden, you got a mimic on your face. <laughs> okay, now if you're following this walkthrough, eh? And you go in the bathroom, and you're trying to jump up to get out here. You can't do it, because the game won't let you. What you have to do is crouch, then jump. For some reason, that's how you get out. It's the only way I, I stuck in there when I first tried that. Alright, next. Some plants here. Okay, it's glue gun time.
even though I practice and study before uploading videos, I always end up missing stuff. 99.9% .9 of the time, I already know about the stuff I missed because I watch back all my videos before uploading. And <laughs> 99.9% .9 of the time, it's stuff I actually wrote down to pick up. I just, I just, uh, I zone out when doing commentary. It's just really hard to split your attention between commentary and playing the game. All water fountains, okay, will refill your health by one point. So sometimes you get two water fountains beside each other. You hit them both up and just keep hitting them and get a little health back. Okay, there's a mimic down here. Always. It's that book right there. Always. Let's see if we can... Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got an audio tape here. Let's play it. Robert, Alice, thank God, no one else is. Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I can't. Jesus, you're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's. What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert. Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Okay, and this is what happened to Robert. Sorry, Robert. We'll notify your next again. Do you have any food? Yeah, this guy. Okay, it's glue cannon time. What we want to do is just go over there. But there's a couple of more mimics in the center here. We've already done a tour of the entire room. Definitely a couple more over there. I want this this plant here though. Um, let's see if we can shake them up by throwing something over there. That didn't do it. I'm pretty sure it's one of those buckets there. Okay, we're good. Okay, this is what I <laughs> I paid some health for that little plant there. No, really, loot everything. All right, we're done here for now. Let's make like a banana and split. <laughs> all right, all right. And uh, before all you missed the spotters, have a little orgasm about all the stuff I left behind in the previous area. We are coming back. Okay, we're coming back. All right? So just calm down and just let, let Slack do his job. All right? We're coming back. Right now, it's more important that we finish up the second quest or the third quest. Anyways, the quest after this one, which will, without... Uh, giving away too many spoilers um, will give us access to some extra storage space, which is very important. Then we're coming back to this area. All right. Okay, so here we are in the Talos One lobby, and January, speak. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Sure am. Okay, now this guy always has a med kit. And at this point, we should have four or five med kits. Where's where are my med kits? Six. Pretty good. Excellent. And you should have a considerable amount of blue cannon ammo. Okay, hopefully you didn't spend it all. And we're coming up near the end of this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining, I know we're informative. Hey, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. What you can do here is you can spam these two drinking fountains here to get your health back up. As soon as they stop, spam them again. Alright. So, come next video, if you see my health back up to 100, that's what I did off camera. Alright? <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next video.